Wadi Cup and welcome to the great convenience store gourmet challenge for another episode. Now today we're out here at Les Diables and we're meeting Peter Weber. Now Peter is going to have 1000 baht and 5 minutes in a 7-Eleven and then 45 minutes to cook up a storm for Judge Donna. What is he going to come up with? We'll find out. Well, here he is, Peter yes, Weber too. from Les Diables. Hi. Peter, any idea what you're going to do in there? No, I have no idea. I'm just looking at the banana. Now, you know you've Zero. got five minutes. We're going to give you 1,000 baht. You. Then you've got 45 minutes to cook up a treat for our judge, Donna. You do have to, though, get a secret ingredient and include that in your meals. Are you ready? Yes. Your secret ingredient, Peter, is two-minute noodles. Two-minute noodles. Two-minute noodles, Okay. Okay. All right. This, your recyclable Thank basket, you. off you go. He's gone. Peter Weber there from Le Diable. Okay. Peter Weber from Le Diable. Step inside. How did you go? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Now, let's see. We've got, uh, what's this? A uh, man mango Swiss roll. Mango cake. Oh, we got uh, ice creams. And I got egg sugar. Egg sugar. We've got some chocolate. Corn. Puba bungalow powder, no? or a yellow. What's that? Uh, tom, creamy tom yum. Huh? I'm okay. still not quite sure yet. <laughs> right. And then there's some sweet corn, and then some. Um, I was going to buy the uncooked rice, but I see they've got the frozen one. No? Because you said the crispy noodles, I was going to do my croque monsieur or something like that. No? You're bugging me up now, no? <laughs> All right, we've got the secret ingredient. You go that away, and we'll see you soon. Okay, we're back here at Le Diable, we and uh, Peter Weber is about to uh, show us what he's got at his 7-Eleven. Peter, what have you got? Shall we start? Some eggs, some sugar. Sugar? Pause Whilst it. you're getting everything out, how did you get to Phuket? How did you end up here? I used to work at the Oriental in Bangkok, and then I took a year off, what actually ended up being two years, travelling around the world. And when I came back, I got offered a partnership at the Royal Phuket Marina. And then I went into partnership there and opened my first bakery, Les, Les Anges. No? Les Anges, and now we've got Les Diable at Boat Lagoon. Yeah. What is your favorite thing in, in cooking? I mean, obviously your cakes are legendary. Is that your specialty? Well, my specialty, I trained for pastry. They always said I was a bit artistic. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> so they, they actually, my, my lecturers actually got my, my first job because I seem to be more um, they, uh, towards pastry. No? And they always, I used to store the cakes and I did a cake decorating course before I left college. Yes. So it all coincided and I, they actually got me my first job as a pastry chef. I don't think I was the best at being pastry, but I was good at organising. I think pastry's a lot, pastry's a lot to do with um, steps and organisation. What is the favourite dish that you make at Le Diable? My, my, one of my favourite dishes is musselman, no? And then... Musselman curry. Yeah, so it was lucky, you know, because when you said about my secret ingredients, the noodles, huh? Because I was sort of going to go towards the farang side of the more of a European dish, like um, a bake or something like that. But then when you said the crispy noodles, the two-minute noodles, and then I thought I have to change to do something Thai. All right, I'm going to leave you with it for 45 minutes. Then it's uh, time to plate up for Judge Donna. Okay. She's harsh. She's very harsh. Is she? Yeah. All Good right. luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are with Peter Weber from Lady Diablo's. Now, Peter, what do we have here? This looks very impressive. So, um, because you said the crisp, the noodles, Chimay. Yes. So I thought about doing a. I was thinking about doing a, the instant noodles and deep fry them, yes. and then do a tuna and sweet corn musselman. It's not like a musselman. It's it's a it's a mix I picked up. It's actually for pulbat bungalow, you know. Right. Okay. But it seems to work quite well because it's got curry powder in it. No? It smells good. So maybe it's like a curry. It's like a yellow curry anyway. Yes. No? And then for the dessert, so I was going to do something like a banana flambe with ice cream, but then they didn't have any bananas. So I bought longans, canned longans, and caramelized them. And then the mango Swiss roll, I placed them on top of the mango Swiss roll, so the Swiss roll would soak up the caramel. And then you've got the magnum on top, so it's like a chocolate longan omelette Norwegian. I would expect something fantastic from you, given that you're a That's Mandarin. why I'm sweating, because of the meringue. <laughs> a Mandarin Oriental That's chef. Can I taste? Looks good. So I didn't have any flour, so I just reduced the coconut milk naturally. 
<laughs> oh no. It's excellent. Really, really good. Tastes like a good yellow curry. Thank you. I'm so excited to taste this. This, people, looks incredible. So it's kind of like a meringue on top. So it's meringue and then it's the, the magnum. So I didn't have any tubs of ice cream. Huh? So I just decided to use the... You, you haven't disappointed, Peter. I mean, as a pastry chef. <laughs> Beautiful. How is it? My goodness. I've never used, I thought it was quite interesting actually because then chocolate would melt. So What's it underneath it? I, made, I bought one of these um, little mango Swiss rolls. I wanted something to soak up the syrup. Ah, normally when you do normally Norwegian, you put it on a sponge and then you put yes. fruit salad. So we've done the twist and then I caramelised longans, uh, canned longans. Mm. Well done, my friend. Thank you. Should we, ju should we judge? <laughs> okay, so for flavour, very, very good, very, very good to fried rice. I'm going to give you a good nine for that. Ooh. That is very impressive. Thank you. The flavour is incredible. For goods that you bought at a 7-Eleven, presentation, outstanding. I mean, that is, it's always going to well, be Well, I winner. mean, I'm a pastry chef. You know. Yes, you're a pastry chef. So presentation, I'm going to give you a wee yeah. nine too. <laughs> now, Peter, your secret ingredient, what was it? Uh, two minute noodles. Huh? Two minute noodles. Not bad. Not, not, well, it's a yeah, that's what I know. There's not, there's not much you can really do with the two minute noodles, so. Thank you. The use of the ingredient, well done. The creativity, absolutely incredible. And also having a curry here, I also thought was very impressive, so well done. I'm going to give you yeah. 17 out of 20. Thank so you. So let's count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is. A total of 43. Thank you. It's all right now. Out of 50. Oh, that is bad. top of the table with another chef. That's a, the first equal. Oh, is it? First equal. <laughs> that is very impressive. How Peter you, Weber. How you? <laughs> Thank you. Peter Weber, congratulations. How many more Lincoln. is there anyway? We've got another two. Okay. Well, 43 there out of 50 for Peter Weber from Le Diable and he made that all from ingredients from a normal suburban 7-Eleven. Wonder what next week's contestant will come up with? We'll see you then.